What is going on guys? It is your boy Cash and it is time to talk about these dev notes. I didn't even know that they even came out and someone had to hit me up on Discord. It was like, look, it's like buried under all this other information. We got those videos yesterday and then someone's like, what about the dev notes? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, so we visited Dev Notes, and I wanted to kind of go over it. It's a long thing, so get yourself ready. It is a long, long kind of thing. We're gonna go over as much as I can. First and foremost, though, let's boop, 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 pump that up. Let's really get into the nitty gritty. Actually, that's too much. Let me back that up like 125. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Like I said, I always want to make sure that you guys can see the words and can read. If I miss out on something, you guys can, you know chime in on it and stuff like that in the comment section and all that good stuff. So a lot of this stuff is stuff that we definitely already know. This is the side story, the consent of fire, uh, light, fire and ice which was released in the, and the chosen shaman featuring are both prologues to the episode two. So if we're thinking about that, right, they're losing their powers or connection to the spirits is the same has something to do also with Lulica going into the spirit dimension and Straz, and I'm guessing he's sucking their power out or something of that nature. That's what they're talking about. Now, Sidonia also in the game, yeah, there it is, known as the Rotten Earth, which is kind of messed up, but now you see why it is, because it's like this battleground thing. And it kind of makes you wonder whether or not this has been going on and, and it's been that way for that long and how long it's been this way, because this is like directly connected to um, Azaria, I think is the name of the town, the, the, the town, it's like right above where everyone else is living, so to have this like destroyed city or continent, right, it's, they call it a continent, have this destroyed continent like right below you is just kind of really strange, I'm like, how do you guys not know it looks like that, like, what about the people on the border looking across the street and be like, yo, bro, y'all need some, some sanitation workers, y'all, y'all kind of dirty over there, like, this place looks wrecked, and, like, you hear, like, Violet is from there, and Violet looks like a, well, a well-dressed man, you know, like, so how is this where his hometown is, and it's completely destroyed, or are we gonna see, like, it get destroyed, Britannia, yeah, is where everyone is, here it is, because most of Sidenia is barren and rocky, so that's why they're saying it, so most of it actually is meant to look like that, it's on purpose. So that's gonna be cool. And they also talk about here, just as in episode one, it consists of 10 chapters. It's pretty much that you're getting a brand new story mode, which is really, really cool to see. And it's gonna be coming out the first chapter on 13th, uh, January 13th, which is in three days, which is kind of their normal update schedule. So make connections with new heroes. And you see this character who was an enemy was fighting Violet in the, in the cinematic trailer that we saw. And interesting enough like I for some reason thought that this was like a good person but that's cool if we get another character and they're going to be I think she's a light tie I thought she was light um just because you know obviously she's wearing a lot of light yellow garn you know garnished in yellow and she has some pink and you know I guess it's like a purple pink whatever so she actually or she might just end up being fire you know because <laughs> it's not just how they do it sometimes rest in like K-Ron I always thought was going to be dark and then all of a sudden he's a fire thief whatever so they also mentioned here, which is really important, there are more than 15 new three stars and four and three three star and four star heroes waiting for you in chapter one. As you progress through the quest, players will be able to make new connections with some of the new heroes. So that's why they're making so many of the new heroes is because some of them are gonna be connections, which is cool because in the original game, as you can actually see here, um, this guy was a fight you saw very briefly in the trailer right here you saw very briefly in the trailer and he's on the left side this means he's a connection hero as well so this guy is brand new and she's new so they're definitely adding a decent amount of characters and like they said three stars which can then get specialty changes even if they're okay they could become better so this is really good there's a lot of content that they're they're uh, brandishing off is that what they call it brandishing like when you're showing off yes there are new monsters as we did see that are pretty cool that you're gonna see some new monsters hopefully have some new tech and new things like that you're gonna have to go around with that and here we go content improvements adventure trust and harmony revamping the adventure content so we already know about the ap store and you know they're going to be redoing that that's the guy right there uh, a little close-up of him pretty much right and here they're talking about in episode one everything was the hair of the covenant like everything was kind of focused around raz but here they're saying that in episode two everything is focused around the god killer and this is very important here too i think that that should be noted is that let's look at the difficulty level of episode two hairs do not 
have to become stronger in order to clear episode 2 as the difficulty level is similar to that of the normal difficulty. The story in episode 2 is a continuation of episode 1 and we hope that hares who have completed episode 1 will be able to complete to become stronger as they progress through episode two. Now, that's kind of a weird thing because I would have expected it to have actually gone harder. I think that they've actually done this in Knights Chronicles when they added new content. It was a, you know, a way to also extend the challenge of the game. So we'll see exactly how easy it is, but of course making it easy means people can fly through it. And actually that, that's kind of weird because they last thing you want as a developer is for people to fly through your new content and then say that they're bored. Like, oh my God, it was so easy, what's next? You kind of don't want that. You kind of want them to, I don't know, not struggle, but yes, struggle. <laughs> you want them to struggle just a little bit, right? Just a little bit, just so they don't fly through your content and just we'll be like, all right, so what's next? I still have to do that other adventure thing. I might make a whole video getting through all that if you guys want, but I don't know, that doesn't seem like too interesting. That little adventure thing or whatever they called it, I never did it. I haven't done one of those, but it does, it's a lot of free resources, so I should just do it. I finished the, the challenge mode here of the desert, and maybe once I finish, getting everything from the side story. Maybe I'll just focus on finishing all that. It shouldn't take too long. All right, so let's see. This is really important here too. Additionally, episode two will not require players to repeatedly farm certain stages in order for them to become stronger. Content that will help heroes increase their strength include the spirit altar where players obtain, can obtain runes and challenges where players can obtain equipment. In addition, as we believe that there are already a lot of energy and time consuming content. We have at, we have added a side story where players will be able to easily obtain catalysts. Once players clear the adventure quest and fulfill all the necessary missions for all the episodes, players will be able to focus on other content. In the future, players will be able to fully experience the storyline in Epic 7 without interruption. So it is, it, I'm hoping that that means that they're definitely gonna think, after playing a little bit of over it, I swear to God guys, all these games can learn from each other. Overhead has probably one of the most lackluster um, gameplay that I've ever played, and that's not like super shots, but it's the auto, the way that it autos is just very, very strange to me, and I don't like it. I actually want to have more control over what's going on. The, the characters are interesting, but I feel like you should have more control over what's going on. But their stamina and like what, how much a thing a state takes is so cheap. <laughs> you could literally play the game on auto or like actually playing and you really feel like you're doing a lot in the day and that's kind of like same thing when i felt when i played summoners world like you feel like you're doing a lot in the day but in epic 7 it's like you can do like important things anyway it just doesn't seem like you're getting much done and especially when you don't get exactly what you want so they really should just lower i don't know just lower the damn stamina energy thing just make them five it, it really well, all the only thing that's gonna happen literally the only thing that happens is that people play the game more Oh no, why would we want that, right? <laughs> Side story, unrecorded history, uh, venture mode before the world difficulty, a new reputation where players can obtain epic catalyst. So they're just kind of hiding it there and we can't read that. So they're just pretty much saying that now I guess that there's gonna be a way to get more epic catalyst, which I don't, I don't even think that that's even the problem anymore. I think that's the system that they had, but I guess if they wanna reduce the grinding of it, I can't really complain about that whatsoever. But the the system now the way that they have it is that you kind of just need the molagoras you can literally ax your guild for the lesser catalyst and then you can just farm with the ap system to get the epic ones and you don't need too many of the epic ones i think you need like if you go to max out each one you'll need six so in you would say three weeks if you wanted to literally farm the the adventure points get the two that are available which is 800 points every week and then boom you max out that and then of course you need it for leveling up your character but if they can make it that you can really do that that means that it goes back to what i used to say is that now you can finish out characters even quicker to have more characters available to play and you have more of a variety to play with making the game more fun because you're able to adapt to the situation and there's also reasons why they have to do that because i read ahead uh, this is not me my first reaction on this that's why you don't see my face if you guys don't know i show my face when it's a reaction but if not, then I don't. But this is something where I think that because they're adding so much content to the game, people need to be able to raise their characters quickly and be able to make mistakes. As in, raise a character, that character does nothing. That character does nothing and it's like, okay, I need to make another character. So I think that's why they're making it a little bit easier. So you can invest and not have to worry about making a huge mistake. See, like, please note that the AP exchange points, oh, let me highlight it, sorry. 
Please note that the AP exchange points that players have obtained from the previous adventures will be transferred to the unrecorded history, and the exchange points from existing adventures will be set to zero. In addition, Epic Catalyst will be removed from the AP exchange point shop. It is recommended that players who are currently playing normal and world difficulty use their AP, uh, AP before these changes occur if they wish to purchase Epic Catalyst this way. So that's a really big thing that they're letting us know right off the bat. So guys, hi. If you have been saving up, if you have some stuff and you was like, damn, I really want to get this Epic Catalyst, they're telling you to pretty much, it's going to get set to zero. So you might as well just hustle up get that epic catalyst that you wanted and then leave it be. And this is piggybacked by what they're saying here. You know, they know people, we felt that having a map that needs to be repeated several times did not follow the idea of adventure mode. Additionally, we felt that it would frustrate players, uh, be frustrating for players to play through episode two and then have to return to episode one to select world difficulty again in order to receive those certain catalysts. Because technically if they make it episode two, right? and everything in episode one is where the stuff is, then they would either have to replicate it in episode two. So they just wanted to eliminate that whole thing. That's pretty much what they're saying. So pretty much the unrecorded history, you're gonna play through it. It has a new reputation. You play through it and you'll be rewarded with an epic catalyst as they are showcasing kind of here. So I'm interested in that. I, I'm really interested to see how many you get, how easy it is. Is it something that is actually somewhat difficult? We'll see how that works out. 10 episodes and they're pretty much saying here, they're pretty much laying out kind of like here. Episode one is here of the thing. Episode two, which will be released soon is God Killer. Sometime next year, we'll be releasing episode three. And then there's something where they're trying to say that each episode is uh, like they want to release an episode a year. That sounds cool. A new episode every year, it's right here. <laughs> every year episode 10 and the seventh epic so i feel like i don't know if they really needed to say that i feel like it just seems a little weird like so now we're getting god killer and it's almost saying like so we won't see you know episode three and another big launch of something until next year in 2020 so i feel as so you're gonna get this right and then nothing it's gonna be nothing but side stories banners and things of that nature they're adding more different stuff in here like they're adding pretty much the trial of ascension from summoners war but i'm kind of concerned a little bit like i kind of was hoping that they'll have big updates you know throughout the year but these this is a big update i mean they added small things in epi uh, i guess you can say in episode one like adding in you know the adventure points and that's just more of them trying to react back to the community when people make complaints but i'm kind of a little concerned about that just slightly not a really big concern but i'm hoping that the game has relevant content that can sustain the game within these year-long gaps <laughs> you know as they're saying like episodes uh, will feature content of Eurekia consisting of countries that the Harris are already familiar with such as Wittenberg which is CC and Luna, Lafundus which is Tywin and this other guy that you haven't really seen, Politica, I forgot who the hell that that's from, I think um, Chloe I think? Something like that, kind of don't remember at the moment, you might, I would need my, my wonder, wonder sheet but you know that's kind of weird you know like that they would tell us that, that only uh, of like a year, I mean you can have collabs also, collabs as you saw like Guilty Gear was an entire month <laughs> you know so that took a whole entire month right out of the out, out of a year that you had to sit there and farm so maybe with collabs and other big events that they can really without severely updating the story in the game so anyway let's get to what i love the story journal finally guys i have been wanting to talk about the story of this game and make videos on the story of this game and i swear to god if anyone else makes story videos of this game i am copyright striking no i'm just kidding but i've been waiting for this for a long time because what this is is that you're able to actually finally go back and look at the stories of this game and i've been wanting to do that because i wanted it would be help me actually make content about like addressing certain things it would really help me as a content creator to not always talk about a guide or something of that nature it would actually help me talk about you know a character story and explaining their intentions and you know why they're doing this or why this happens and linking things together like that actually would help me as a youtuber like as a content creator like really really strongly so but the problem is that the only way i would have, let's say if i had chloe or if i didn't have the character i don't have araminta araminta is the damn leader <laughs> of the phantom cic and like i couldn't make a thing of her like i couldn't make a story revolving the phantom cic without like you know even if i wanted to show the character walking left to right with the rest of the members i couldn't do that because i didn't have all the members i didn't have the main leader i have Bologna, i have says you know but i didn't have the main leader so how am i supposed to do that oh let me make a thing about the merchants thing where basar is the main character oh i don't have basar 
How can I show Basar walking or doing anything? I have Silk, you know, I have Rin, but I don't have Basar. Like, so, you know, like, so now you can at least possibly go to this. Like, you see, this is Chloe, and you know Chloe hasn't done anything relevant, like, too much in the story. But if you can go to a character and, like, and then you can showcase some stuff and talk about it and explain it, I would love to do that. And let me know uh, also in the comments if you guys would like something like that. I would love to do that. I'm going to do it anyway, but it'd be nice to know that you guys would actually like to see it. And I mean, the views will pretty much tell me if you guys give a fuck about it, but you know, whatever. So next thing up, the max level is going to be increased to 65. Max level for a secret shop increased to level 13. Raised uni and immunity sets are going to be added. I didn't even know you could not get those in the shop because I barely pay attention to that because I usually just look for rings and stuff. Increased probability of high grade equipment. That's also good too. Hopefully that goes up to like what, 88, stuff like that. Urgent mission improvements, significant increase in the drop rate of three star penguins. Accessories added to the goblin gate rewards. I, I don't know. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Go from bounty gold from bounty hunts increased difficulty improvements one thing that i think that they need to add to the urgent mission overall and it's not addressed here is the chest the chest in whether it's in the urgent mission whether it's in the thing they need to drop gear representative to what difficulty you're actually doing it in so if i'm doing something that requires my characters to have about 85 gear or 70 gear the drops of gear inside there should reflect that <laughs> it's crazy that you can still open a chest and it's like 45 uh, level 40 something gear and it's like why did i even bother clicking on that chest as annoying as it is to click on the chest and actually be a, a tentative to the game and like staring at it you would think that if i open a chest it would actually have some good shit in it like yes gold is good sky stones is good um the event currency if you're in the side story the side story currency is good but when it's a gear it's like oh it just feels like such a big waste of time and the when you open those in the, go the goblin gate right if you open the goblin gate and it's like a red gear but it's it's like level 40 it's garbage why do i why did i even bother clicking on that i rather get gold or you know give me a penguin or give me a, a phantasm just don't give me gear take that out just take it out in general and just give me a phantasm give me um you know uh charms artifact charms that's really good put something that's worth value in those chests and just take the gear out if you're not going to give us good gear 100 percent, and i'm pretty sure anyone could co-sign on that it's stupid when you're like staring at these chests or moving backwards because you were looking away from the screen you walk back and it's like oh let me go click on that chest and it's a level 44 helmet green yeah fuck you so yeah so next thing you know they're telling you that it's coming out on the 13th like i said in three days and all these other cool things that go to pay me for the bounty energy mission have been finally increased one another thing they should increase is the guild rewards for those actually when you do the urgent missions you get the stupid thing 300 for everybody in the guild and you the that that chest is absolute ass it's it's 100 ass they should definitely change that anywho the automate auto automaton automation it should be automation like you know uh, but it's automaton, I think tower. I'm probably saying that wrong hundred floor challenge every month I don't understand why they just didn't improve the abyss the abyss just seems like a really strange thing It's just this thing you do and then it just kind of goes away But you have to go you don't have to go but you can go back there every you know day and then just use your abyss things to purify I don't know. I feel like they should especially if you already beat it Maybe you should just get those rewards every every day. You don't have to actually spend it But this thing is pretty cool. We would like to give you more details about this on june 27 so this is actually not even coming <laughs> on the 13th so this is just letting us know uh in this update we will drastically reduce the difficulty of the obtaining and enhancing equipment including accessories interesting that's a big thing in the late january update we made adjustments so that it was possible for players to obtain accessories from hunt however we found that there was still a shortage in the amount of accessories when compared to the number of heroes making it difficult for players to fully equip all the heroes i've been saying this for years even though the game hasn't been out for a year we have the we have plans to address this issue so that players will be able to more consistently equip their heroes with the equipment necessary in order to increase their strength now all they have to do is just make it either craftable or make it a guaranteed drop I wouldn't have minded if all the every time you did a wyvern 11 or hell make a wyvern 12 every time you finish it it drops an accessory if they want to make it different it drops an accessory so you automatically get that you craft the other parts right and then it doesn't matter because not every every drop or every crap is good so why are they pretending it's the same issue that anthem had to be 100 percent honest with you it's like give us the gear so we can sort through it and find what's good you don't have to it, it's better to give you a bunch of stuff you sort through it you throw it away you sell it for gold than to sit there and get not much and feel like you wasted your time i don't understand what's so difficult about that 
Anyway, Vital Epic Accessory Rewards. First, we have the automa automaton, the auto tower. I'm just gonna call it the auto tower because I, I can't I can't figure out what that means in my head. This tower has 100 floors and players progress will reset on the first day of every month. Even though the update will be on the 27th of June, players will only be able to enter it on the 1st of July, which is fair. Cause it would be messed up like everyone's trying to do that i mean they should i hope that'd be good if you can actually like just see it i would prefer to see it for those first couple days and then just resets if people have the the leaves and stuff like that to actually progress through it in this tower players will be able to sorry let me highlight so you guys can see a little bit better players will be able to obtain various levels of epic accessories and accessory charms as the sets and stats for the accessories that can be obtained from the auto tower are good we believe that if it will be helpful for our heroes to who want to increase their hero strength. Players will also be able to receive Molagora and Galaxy bookmarks as rewards. This is the same thing that's in Summoner's War. They call it the Trial of Ascension. Toa. They had two different versions. They have the normal version and they have the Toa and the hard version. The normal version is obviously easier than the hard version. It's like super tight team making some certain versions, certain stages you have to have the best of the best that counter that stage. So as this is what I was saying earlier, before I alluded, I was alluding to it, they're going to need you to be able to make multiple teams. If they want to make what I like to call fuckery, they have to pretty much make it that you can make a team comp because you're going to get stuck. It's a month long thing. So they, they know for a fact that you're going to get stuck somewhere. You're going to need to build up a team to counter that stage or counter multiple stages that have that same issue. Like one stage is pretty much if you guys play through the abyss, it's the abyss. One stage is going to have, you can't have buffs. The next stage one might have, you need buffs. The next one is like, you need debuffs. The next one you need to have debuff cleansing, but you might need a whole team of that, you know, to do that. So, you know, that's why it's great. If you have Dizzy, Dizzy's going to be like super good. Cause she has like that, that, uh, decreased combat readiness. You're going to see a whole bunch of that. So whew, get ready guys. It's going to be a mother load of crap <laughs> in these things. And it's going to be a lot of uh, stream content as well. Uh, YouTube content. People are going to show how to beat stage one through 10, you know, like, Oh God, here it goes. But at least I'll be better prepared for it. Right. I'll actually be able to make videos and people. It was so hard to make a videos for the abyss because it was like, once you beat it, you can go back to it to showcase people that you can beat it. So this will be a lot better for YouTube content. You can show people each stage, how to beat it. What's the strategy and yada, yada, yada. The enemy players, will meet in the auto tower and the rewards that can be acquired will change every month so there's not like summoners war where it's the same rewards each time which people actually look forward to so this is going to be a little scary uh we will also prepare a hard difficulty level if there are a lot of heroes who manage to reach the 100th floor now like i said in summoners war they both already have normal and hard so they want to see if people can beat normal mode probably within a month see how many people can do it and then if this is smart by the way and then if people can't beat it or not that many people are beating it because maybe they want to make it like anti-whale or make it make whales feel like they still need to spend money they want to make sure that people can beat it and if enough people can beat it they'll make a hard mode so it's like but if they can't if people aren't beating it then they'll just focus and fix it and then make a hard mode anyway they're gonna make a hard difficulty anyway but at least they're uh, addressing and saying hey we're not gonna make a hard mode out the gate we're gonna see how many people beat it if it's difficult this is going to be great for the youtube community the reddit community too and you know me and reddit don't get along but you know it's really good for people to share a lot of information and, and people will actually be able to see if the, you know if it's just the difficulty is it people lack of gear is it oh I, oh you just need to get the specialty change you know a lot of information sharing is going to make this phenomenal very very good uh sanctuary reconstruction this is this thing finally coming into this change catalyst Craft equipment charms, craft high grade hunt ingredients. Now this is very strange. And who the hell is that? All right, so if we're thinking about that, let me just see what the, the second big plan that we have is, is the completion of the sanctuary. First, we will open the alchemist ste steeple that our hares have not yet been able to access. In the alchemist steeple, players will be able to craft charms, transform catalysts into different catalysts. Hopefully that's not RNG for the love of God. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like you can just, uh, one to one it right and also if you can change craft high grade in ingredients that actually is gonna make it that maybe possibly instead of you struggling and trying to beat all of these hunts you could possibly just do one and then just like farm out that one and then just use that uh, and flip it around but that still seems a little wasteful we'll see it we'll see 
So yeah, players will also be able to transform low level equipment obtained into hunt into high level material. Oh, so that's what they mean. Sorry, that completely derails what I was saying. So it's pretty much like when you get, I guess, transform all your lower crappy stuff and then make it better. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that makes more sense. As a selecting item that you wish to craft, players will add the base materials required and the number of new materials you can make will differ according to the amount of raw materials. Players can use the Breath of Orbis to improve the Alchemist steeple. They didn't tell us exactly how, but players will be able to obtain more breath of orbis in episode two hopefully to max out everything i hope by episode two you can max it out because in episode three like what else are you going to do with it you know that's in a year's time right and also they show you here craft necklaces and rings fine a fucking lee i don't even understand why it took so long for this to happen additionally players will be able to craft accessories and it's not please note that the gold cost and amount of materials required to craft will be 30 percent more comparison to other equipment why it's the same shit Ah, uh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. There's no reason for them to do that. It's just, it's just stupid. We hope that we, we hope that by having more to do in the sanctuary, players may enjoy nurturing and strengthening their heroes. Of course, we understand that changes to the supply equipment will not be enough to satisfy our players, which is why we will also rebalance heroes with the June 27th update. We know that a lot of heroes have expressed concerns regarding the uniformity of the current team composition through the rebalancing that will be carried out in june we we the develop developers team are excited to see original and diverse team formations we hope to carry out their rebalancing patches regularly in the future as well this is a little concerning to me and i'm going to tell you why it's because they know for a fact that when they drop this players are going to be able to legitimately make way better units but they're also saying already that they're going to plan to rebalance characters because they know someone, you know, characters are just going to become very, very strong with this update. Very strange. Very, very strange. And um, it's like they want to nerf team comps, but why? Like, what are you trying to nerf? What team comps? The only team comp people are complaining about is like the the Araminta Bow and, you know, Crimson Armin. And I would be so pissed if they changed like Armin because Armin has been in the game for so long. She literally has not done anything. And I'm saying this because I have a six star Armin now and I'll be pissed now. But just seriously, obviously what tipped the scale was Bao. Bao is the main idiot reason. You can pretty much counter Araminta with immunity, but it's Bao that really throws things off. So I, I feel like he's one of the main things that need to be addressed. And my Araminta can easily be stopped with immunity. She can't strip the immunity and then still burn and stun you or any stupid thing like that. But Bao can strip your whole entire buffs and then put you to sleep. So that's that's pretty much who needs to be changed. They should have just said, we need to change Bao. That would have made more sense. If they started touching other characters, it'd be like, it would really be like, why? We are also preparing many things for the July update. We have a regular season for Guild War. Also, all bosses will appear in Hell Difficulty of Raid Labyrinth. I don't get it. Yeah, whatever. Once again, we would like to thank the Harris uh, for the that came to the Epic Seven Festa. I guess that was like another event. I don't even know what that was. All right, so that's it, pretty much, guys. So, what are you most excited for? This is a long video, but it's supposed to be long. Like, there was a lot of information here dope that you're going to be able to craft necklaces i don't think that they should have raised the price of them it just seems like they're overvaluing something that should be standard in the game it's just so annoying that they're doing that it's just like yeah we're going to give it to you but we're going to make you spend more gold when you know that gold is already an issue in your game you know it's already an issue in your game a hundred percent an issue in your game so is stamina that's pretty much if they're like oh by the way guys we're going to make hunt better and it's going to be like 40 stamina like just you know you know we got to balance it out like no like <laughs> like it's this that was obnoxious of them i honestly 100 percent think that that's just it that was a bad move uh be able to change catalyst is good but at the same time i feel like you won't need to change catalyst when you can just kind of when they just made all this other thing where they just pretty much said that you can just kind of get the catalyst that you want we'll see how that works be able to take your low end ingredients and craft it up to big ones is pretty good crafting equipment charms is Cool, depending on the cost because remember right now you can just buy equipment charms with your arena currency so we'll see how much that you needed you know I, this should be better right you spend I guess you're spending gold to upgrade your equipment which costs you a lot of gold Eh, who knows this thing is really good like I said great for for us youtubers content creators it's gonna be fantastic they're gonna keep changing the thing hopefully a lot of people can beat it so there's two versions and why because two versions means double the rewards <laughs> 
<laughs> of course I'd want double the rewards if I can get to that spot obviously I don't see anyone that would want that these improvements are nice uh, level 65 yada yada that's cool obviously I'm really excited for the story journal this is kind of concerning hopefully that they'll have enough content in between the episodes to keep us playing for as they're saying 10 years this is a 10 year project you know so you know I think Summoner's War hasn't actually been out for that long, you know, and it's very, very, very strong for them to brandish that they're going to be able to survive that many years into this, you know, I feel like they should have just said that they have, you know, 10 episodes planned and they'll release them when they want to, not just saying that they're going to release one every year, you know, just so, uh, I don't know, didn't need to put that out there. And this is cool, the unrecorded history, the change, how, how we will receive Catalyst. Remember guys, as another recap. Use all your AP points for Epic Catalyst as quick as possible because you're good. it's going to get all turned back to zero. Um, new Connection Heroes, which is going to be pretty cool. I really like that. Look at that. That looks like something cool. That looks. I want that. That's already a side story. And yeah, New Connection Heroes and everything Sidonia, and we're right back at the top. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the breakdown. I know there's going to be a ton of people covering this breakdown, and I'm happy that you guys chose the hang out with me as i break things down and i will see you guys in the next video which is very likely gonna be the you know 13th update you know blah 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 if not maybe a, a guide video uh, before then i don't know we'll see we'll see but besides that peace out thanks for watching have a good one peace like comment and subscribe